What's up guys? In this video tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to use window key on your calculator and how to change your window so you can see your graph better. Okay, so let's get started. So, um, before we use window key, we have to graph a function first, right? Or else we can't see anything. So let's go to y equals and then put our graph. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using x squared minus 20 as a demo purpose. So you guys can use any kind of graph. So let's graph it first, and let's see what we get. Okay, so um, on my screen, I see two lines that are kind of bended. And my graph is supposed to look like a parabola because x squared minus 20 is supposed to be a parabola graph, right? But I don't see that bottom chunk of my parabola. So how can we see that? That's when we use a window key. You can use zoom key to zoom out and see, but window key is more accurate and you can kind of customize it to your own taste. So when, let's hit that window key. Uh, window key is located right next to your y equals key and then if you hit that you'll be brought to this screen here right so it says our x minimum is minus 10 and our x maximum is 10 and y minimum on the fourth a uh, fourth row here it says minus 10 all the way up to y max which is 10 okay what part of graph were we missing we were missing the bottom part of our, our graph, right? So which means we have to change our y minimum to go down below more. So instead of going down to minus 10, let's say, uh, let's make it go down to like minus 15. So, in, uh, so let's use that negative key on your keypad and then type 15 here. And once you do that, you just hit graph again and notice our graph looks a little bit different and we're seeing more accurate parabola shape here but not quite because I still I'm still missing that chunk on the bottom so let's go back to our window and change our y minimum a little bit more or less something like negative 25 okay if we get negative 25 and hit graph Ah, much better right but okay notice there's like a lot of lines on your y-axis right this uh, right here is indicating one so that between distance between a bar and bar is representing one how can we change that into bigger uh, scale so you don't see a lot of a bunch of di uh, lines there so we have to go back to windows and if you go down below um, below y max here you will see y s c l and that represents y scale so we have to change that y scale up a little bit so we don't see a bunch of lines blocking our view there so instead of being one let's change that into like um, five let's say five five seems perfect so if we hit graph again notice there's not a lot of uh, lines and each distance between line and line here is now representing five so since it's one two three four bars away it's going to represent 20 and yes so that's how you use window key on your calculator so you can customize your window screen to get the better view of your to get the better uh, view of your graph so thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys next time thanks